In our previous video, we looked at how to save our Excel workbook as a macro enabled workbook. Now we're just going to go through the process of recording a simple macro. And let me just zoom in so you can see. Right, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click over here because that's where I want to start doing everything. Um, and I'm going to go up to the developer tab. So same like Word, please remember if you don't have the developer tab, you can just go to options. Um, you can go to customize your ribbon and just put a tick in developer. Okay, so now we've got developer, we're going to go over to the left hand side and we are going to click on record macro. Now, the two things that it's going to ask me, and maybe they'll ask you something like this in the exam. Um, for this one, they want me to save it as VAT headings. And I can put a shortcut if I want to. Um, it just depends what they ask you. And then we want to make sure that this macro is stored in this workbook. And we want to give it a description. So maybe something like SARS VAT forms. Something like that. So I've got a macro name. I've made sure it's going to be stored in this workbook and there's a description and now I click OK. So the first thing we'll see, like with Word, it's now changed to stop recording because it's now recording what I'm doing and we're going to type in some details. Approximately 10 hours later. OK, so now I've entered my text and I'm going to go to the developer tab. I'm going to go to code and I'm going to click stop recording okay so now it's stopped my recording so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete that row and you can see it's gone back to record macro because i've stopped it so now i want to go and say view macros and yeah i can see now that i have my macro that's been saved in this workbook and this is how we record a simple macro